what's going on guys welcome back to the channel for another video today we have made it over here to the Oregon State Fair my wife and I came here last year if you guys want to see that vlog it'll be up here but today Oregon State Fair 2022 we brought our girls this time with us and yeah it's the biggest fair here in Oregon we're excited to just start doing stuff the kids are gonna go we got them the unlimited bands I believe they were about $45 each online we got them in advance online though I don't know if you could still do that but they're a little bit cheaper if you get them online here at the fair I think they're more expensive they're like 60 bucks each wristband so it is a little pricey admission is $12 for adults and I think like $10 or so for kids so just so you know but we're gonna start doing stuff around here come along with me on another vlog so if you come to the fair I encourage you guys to get here like right when it opens because we got here about an hour after it opens and it's already the line here to get your tickets now it's kind of dumb if you get the wristband ahead of time online you still have to wait in line to go to the ticket booth and get your wristbands which I think it's dumb because you pay online just to be advanced you know and to also to get it cheaper but also to be advanced but when you get here you still have to wait in line which is kind of unfortunate so kind of sucks but yeah get here right on time right when they open so you could try to avoid this huge lines and if you guys want to know how much the tickets are so $60 for the wristbands and then the tickets itself they're 50 cents each or $50 for 120 tickets $100 for 250 tickets um, and I think each ride is about 10 or 12 tickets so I think the wristband is really worth it especially because it comes with three games and a medium drink so that's pretty good 30 minutes later we have finally got the wristbands now we're gonna go around here and see what rides they could do and then we'll just keep going down the fair as the time goes on they got the Haunted Mansion here This is the girls next ride here, the Berry Go Round. They are next in line. And then after this one, they're gonna go on this uh, boat one here. So today we got really lucky with the weather. It's gonna be a high of 80, but right now it's in the 70s. It's gonna stay like this most of the day. Gonna peak at 80, which is perfect because tomorrow is back to the 90s here in Oregon. So we came on a perfect day. This feels really, really good. So Desi has done about 11 rides. They, oh, Desi and Sophie have done about 11 rides. So we're taking a break and we're gonna eat some food now. We're at the stand where they have like chicken strips and corn dogs and burgers. I think Desi's gonna get some chicken strips and Sophie's gonna get like a bacon cheeseburger. My wife and I are gonna look somewhere else. But uh, you're gonna- fries. Oh, you want fries too? So chicken strips and fries for her. For this stand, you guys can see the menu right here. That Bradbury Grill, they got chicken strips and fries, cheeseburgers. Bacon cheeseburgers, nachos, corn dogs, long dogs, fries, cheese fries, drinks, souvenir cups, waters, and refills. Man, it's been a stressful hour, guys. After like the last clip when we were trying to get the girls some chicken strips and a burger, that station went down, like the power outage. They had like a power outage, so they have no electricity. So we had to go other places, try to find something else. And there's a lot of places that their scanner was down or it was super more expensive than that one. And so it was just, it became stressful, but we ended up getting some chicken strips for them and a bacon cheeseburger. And then after that, I went and get some uh, Hawaii, a Hawaiian plate that had like rice, noodles, chicken. It was pretty good. But by that time, my wife was like so stressed out that, uh, you know, she just didn't want anything anymore. And so, but right now we just finished eating, the girls and I, and then they went to the bathroom. We might go get my wife a corn dog, or since we're gonna thinking of going to in and out on the way home, since it's about 10 minutes away from here, she might just save her appetite for in and out at night on the way home for dinner. And she'll probably just get like a corn dog or like a snack or something like that. So yeah, it's just been a little stressful for a little bit because 
it was so inconvenient you know a lot of places did it were like their atm not not their atms their the things that read the cards were down and they couldn't charge you and it was just a mess all right let's go see probably the animals we are stepping into the shoppers plaza so we walk here i'll show you guys what they have they got the corn dogs burgers curly fries nachos on this side all the fried oreos cheesecakes all the desserts basically over here is the stage where they have uh depending what time they have like different bands or different little uh musical groups come in and perform and right here is the shoppers plaza it's kind of like a swap meet a farmer's market you know so but right now we're headed over to to see the animals Thank you so much. Uh -huh. Alright, we got a mocha freeze here at the fair. I don't think I've ever gotten some coffee at the fair, but uh, definitely nice to have here. Get with some energy, some mocha with caramel and chocolate and whipped cream. Looks good. Look at this. Got some classic cars out here. Got the SS. Look at this GMC. That one's pretty cool. Look at that. So they got like a little mini car show here. Let's check out the inside. Oh, it's like the other muertos. That. Oh, the Impala. Got the Impala here. Checked out the inside. This car here. And they got this truck here. It almost looks like from Jeepers Creepers or something. Got an El Camino. <laughs> this is a cool Ford. They even got that collectible car in there. Look at the inside. So that was the iFlip show. I'll leave the Instagram link in the description down below. That was a really fun, really cool show. Uh, probably the favorite one that we've watched here at the fair. Bam, there we go, nailed it. Oh, 
we are gonna check out these RVs here. I didn't even know they had RVs here at the fair. All right, let's check out this first RV. Whoa. Even has a patio. This kitchen. It's in here. Oh, this is the master bedroom here. Oh wow! It even has a door outside of the master bedroom. So this was the shockwave. A TV right there. Speakers. This turns into a bed. 150. We're going into the Forest River vibe. It's probably the biggest one. Wow. Look at this. Yeah. Where the kids will sleep. Kids were asleep. Oh, that's the bathroom. Wow. Nice bathroom for an RV. Got a TV. Got a TV and a, a fireplace. There. Here's the master bedroom here. A nightstand. Going to this building. Creative living. Look at this fly away for Birdman and Dreamers. Oh, that's really cool. And this wing here is like made of a license plate. Paintings. Neil Diamond. I saw Neil Diamond. Some records there, books. DVDs, records, vinyls, and creepy dolls. That creepy is just a head. Look at this one. Ew, what is that? What is that? I remember Nancy Drew. I remember reading these. This is probably the, one of the first books that I, used, that I read. At this collections of cars, there's like Hot Wheels. Oh, there's Mickey Mouse. Oh, Lady Gaga stuff. Look, like a star is born. Orioles. Where's the meat dress? Wow, look at this cake. That's crazy. Look at this basket of fruit. It's crazy that that is cake. Probably the best uh, cake here. Everything is cake in here. Look at how the chopsticks over there are like floating. Nice. Really good. Oh, this is decorated tables. This is a Christmas. Here's a carriage one. We've got a Route 66 inspired table here. Like the the food mats are like license plates. Route 66 got like a car with like a, a camper in the back. It's going and they have the map right there. A New Mexico inspired table here. Oh yeah, there's another like Route 66. Got the license plates. Got the cones, kind of like in cars, movie cars here. And then we got this one's kind of looks like a diner with the with the booth seats there. So that was the creative living building. They're just getting a massage right now. A foot massage.
so we're in the last leg of the fair. We're just letting the girls ride a couple more, kind of get use of the limited wristband. They got them already. It looks like fireworks. Hopefully it's fireworks. But I didn't see any in the sky. Anyways, so yeah, we're in the last leg of the fair. The girls are just riding their last rides. We want them to get as many rides as possible. And right now they've been doing like the, the fun houses. Now they're about to do the, the swings right here. And then a couple more right before we leave. It's about 8.30 and they close at 10. So about an hour and a half left here at the fair. But we've done a lot today. You know, we got here around 11, almost 12. Been here since 12, all the way to almost 10. So we've done a lot, a lot of walking. It's just been a crazy day, but uh, we're almost done here. Snack of the day, these are deep fried Oreos. It's a little bit past 10, so technically the, the fair's closed, but you know, there's still a lot of people in line for rides and stuff. But uh, we're starting to make our way out of the fair. It's been a long day. We're here from since around 11 30 all the way to now 10. And uh, oh, that's look at that the little fire show that we just saw. But we're headed out guys hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog if you guys did do me a favor hit the thumbs up button consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace